What up YouTube? Good morning everybody. This is Aqua Balls. Welcome to the channel. Happy Saturday. You guys see what I see? Do you see those little galaxy reservoirs going crazy? Uh, they're breeding. There's like three males chasing one female. You see there's a clump of uh, moss right there with the cherry shrimp in the middle. They went inside there and they had their egg, they laid their eggs. Uh, look at that. It's happening right in front of you guys. Hey, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna apologize about something. Yesterday I did a live live, live video. I'm doing it on a on the what you call it second like a stream, not on YouTube itself. Oh man, those guys are going. Good morning, uh, fish love. I'm filter aquarius. Uh, I I wasn't being able to see the the comments. I wasn't being able to read it. I I. This chat thingy, uh, you, I, I have to keep touching the screen and raising it up. Oh, Yuri, what's up, man? How is everything, bro? Look at this fish going crazy in here. Uh, I said, let me show you guys, see what's going on. The the Galaxy Rasboras, they got fat. Look, they're going in the moss and they're laying eggs. For me to be able to hatch these eggs, I have to make a separate tank with a sponge filter and take the moss out and put it in there and hatch them I think that's the only way and make sure there's no snails no shrimp on there but if you don't take them out I believe the snails and the shrimp will eat it right away also the rainbows those uh, feather fin rainbows I've been watching them breed too on the on the top moss you know look at them schools so cool they're really nice they're my one of my favorite nano fish you can put these guys in a nano tank with shrimp baby shrimp and they'll survive let me see if I can find any baby shrimps here today here's an orange one there's a red rally This has been my favorite, favorite tank. So I'm going to the LFS in a bit. Talk, see if I can find the owner and talk to him. If he's not there today, he'll be there on Tuesday, maybe tomorrow. Oh, here you go. This guy's still alive and doing good. Check it out. Thank you, I'm filtered aquarist. Uh, this is the Pinto Black. I paid uh, twelve dollars for this guy, guys. Got him about a month ago. He's doing great in this tank. I don't know if he bred yet with anybody. Like uh, the crystal, sh the crystal I have in here, crystal red. One of my favorite plants in this tank, it's right here, this green one in front of us. It looks really beautiful, guys. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, it's type of uh, Myro, green Myro. I believe it's called Myro. I have the red variety. I put it under the light. I don't know if you've seen it in the before videos, but it got a lot of algae on it. And even though... Maybe it wasn't for like highlighted plant. It's not a highlight plant. So now um, I got one stem left. Kind of I threw it away, man. It, it bothered me. I can get more of them. It wasn't that much. I kept one stem. Let me see if I can make a bunch more with that one stem. Also, the discus got to go, guys. The discus is going. Here's the galaxies. Look at them. They're everywhere, spawning all over the place. They're fast, and quick, little things. Watch, those galaxies are my favorite. Tiki still have some, if you guys wanna go get it. I still have like 10, 12 of them, maybe more. Tiki fish store in Los Angeles. Bellflower, city of Bellflower. And this plant right here, I forgot the name. I really like it. It's uh, ground cover. 
it takes off fast, it grows, it shoots uh, little friends next to it and it doesn't look bad at all. It's an underwater uh, aquatic plant. And check out this shrimp, they just got here saying hello. Some blue blues. And the galaxy resboras. There's a light blue right there. There's a bunch of those babies everywhere here too. I've been watching them and uh, I was going like right now. What's up everybody? How is everybody doing? I was kind of going to go. Uh, I wasn't going to go to Tiki's guys. I wasn't going to go to Tiki's. I was going to another local fish store. Um in Carson area visit couple of them I got nothing going on right now just gonna go to a couple fish stores go get some rat food get some um, what you call it rat bedding I always have those in hand just in case you know you never know what happens we need to feed the rats I, I even uh, suggest if you have rodents give away a master how you doing? Hey, let's talk about giveaway. I want a giveaway, 500 subscriber giveaway. And hopefully till then I have a couple of my clutches of ball python hatch. And it's going to be here in the United States only. We'll be shipping it if it's not local. If somebody wins around here, I'll be handing it to it by myself or if it's close by I drive it if not in the other state I'll ship it to them how you doing I can't wait to hit that mark and then we'll decide what we gonna do I have a couple ideas of how we gonna do it but not I don't know if anybody done that before check this tank in the back the paladarium I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I trying to make it better. We're gonna get some plants soon. Well, it's looking the same. I found. I did water change last night. I found a couple dead crabs in there, and water's looking good. Better's looking good. There's two betters in there. Yep, I hope everybody doing good. It's early morning, Saturday. I gotta fix this bike, oil it up, and put some air in it, start riding it again. And you guys wanna say goodbye to this discus. By the way, those are my country's colors. Like my, where, where I'm not originally from where I was born, where my region, like uh, nationality. I'm Armenian, so I went and got red, blue, and orange. Those are the three colors that we have in the flag. They're really gorgeous. I mean, you can't go wrong. And you can make any color uh, flag you want with this case. There's green, there's red, there's blue, there's all kinds of the colors of the rainbow, even close to pink. That's I said red. That's not Marlboro Red, that's actually a red rose. So it's red. It's pretty red, got blues on it too. When it gets bigger, it's supposed to have like blues on the edges, on the, on the fins. That's a white, white, all white discus. Those are pretty, pretty good sizes, as you see. Uh, here's my hand. They're really close to my hand. They're not small. So I'm gonna be sending them out. Yeah. Everybody's doing good. Let's go see this planted tank on this side really quick. See what we can see in here. I just found one of those uh, sucker fish was dead. I removed it. I had six of them in here. But this has been one of my favorite plants, the cryptocrony. The, the, the crypts are really amazing guys. They stay low on the floor. They cover the front. See how it doesn't go, grow and then you can make like layers. 
of different types of uh, plants. There's a beautiful big shrimp on that uh, floating plant. Those plants like the sun. Yeah, that's it. The Galaxy Reservoir are right in front of you, sparring right there. Look at it. <coughs> oh, wow. There's a bunch of them in here. There's like seven, eight galaxies. I want more. Oh, look at that big, beautiful, pregnant shrimp. Hey, I'm gonna flip the camera around really quick. Yeah, you can see it better. So later on, I'm gonna make a tank and take a like a clump of moss like this and put it in there, straight in there, and see if we can hatch some galaxy resboras. I did put a little container with the moss in it, but I didn't see them going inside. So I took it out. I took it out, set it in the bucket. In a couple days, I'm gonna check it, see if I can hatch something out of there. There's a small little tiny sh hatchling shrimp right in front of us. Where did everybody go? This is an interesting. Okay, let me talk about something interesting. Maybe somebody will show up. Let's talk about Tanzanica, Lake Tanzanica. Check it out. This is the 200 gallon bullfrog with nothing but full of calves, compressor sap mixed inside here. Uh, I bred some of them. I got babies raising inside the 40 gallon. I did add new species. That was a, I think it's a Chilitachromis species. I have added a Neolamprologus caroponctatus, two more in here, and then the other, those are tiny, this is a smaller one of the bigger one. This tank has been uh, up and down lately. The Frantosa colony in there crashed because of my stupidity. I took out four of them, like I said before. You don't want to mess with something that's not broken, and I did. It was working just fine, some thing happened, I removed four and then the other four started killing each other and they hurt each other and they only one survived and I put it in a, that tank right there. Uh huh, the colors look dirty but it's not, it's just tannins in there. Uh, this is gonna change later on guys, I'm gonna try to build a stand for it and raise it off the floor. It's gonna look better. Trust me, I'll make it look better. Hey, I'm gonna go to the LFS. I'll see you guys later. Take care, take it easy. My Shelly tank. My Shelly tank. There's a bunch more Shellys coming towards you soon. Stay tuned. Hit the like button and share if you want. There's no shame in the game. Black Congo in the back looking at us. He went hiding. Every time I point at the fish, they go hide. Here's a nice uh, gold Aussie. That's a big one right here. Look at it. Beautiful purple on the side. A lot of golds on it. Here's another species of the Tanzanican. The Black Congo, it's in this hole somewhere here you go it's dark you can't even see him it's in there I just fed them guys or else I'll be throwing some food to show you and just to quick show you about the filter on this tank there's a sump filter on top DIY pump from here inside this balls bio balls and cotton lava rocks Sponge, more bio, return, boom, and another one. 
bump dot 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 boom super easy it works fantastic cheap as dirt all the stuff it's sold at Home Depot most of it and you know cheap cheap uh, hardware stores you can find all this equipment if you don't have any filters around you you can build your own filters DIY and they're not expensive you know they're they're easy if I want like a whole entire uh, month I don't have to change the water on this but you have to not feed it heavily just feed it easily I've been growing a nice plant in the aquatic no it's not an aquatic plant it's a, it's a like a tropical plant it's a vine plant all right that's it I gotta add some more lava rocks in there I have some outside I forgot that's all take care thanks for tuning in I know those lives are short with me guys but I got stuff going in this is just an update take care guys